Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aura and today I'm going to do the medical student tag. Oh, hindi ko yun pinauso, okay? I was tagged by my fellow med student and YouTuber, EJ Fitness. So check out his channel. Basically, I will answer 15 questions about me, my med school experience, my blog, my channel, and my advice to you guys. So I hope you learn a lot today. Magkakwento lang talaga ako, okay? So question number one, who are you, your name and age? I'm Aura, I'm 25 years old. I'm a medical intern from the Philippines. When did you start studying medicine? I started college in 2009. I was 17 years old. I finished when I was 20. That was 2012. And then I went straight to med school. So dire-diretso no gap years, no year off to work or travel or get to know my real purpose in life. Walang ganon. Dire-diretso lang. Question number three, what made you choose the medical field? I chose the medical field in high school. I was clueless. My dad just told me that I should have a job where I will be my own boss. I can dictate my work hours. I can dictate my income. And I know right now there are a lot of other jobs that will allow that time flexibility and work-life balance. Choo -choo -choo. But back then I thought my only choice would be medicine. So why not, diba? How did you come up with your blog name? I just use my full name, Ara Zircon. But make my day is the title of the book I was reading at that time when I started my new blog. Doctora, if you didn't know, is like the Filipino word or title for a female doctor. And my friend came up with that witty word play. So I decided to keep it. Because I'm a natural hat shisha. Hashtag Doctora, yes. How would you describe your blog or your channel? I've been blogging for so many years, since I was a kid and ever since, it's always been my personal outlet. Whether it's about med school or my travels, my friends, my love life, everything. But, but, for this channel, I decided to simply focus on med student stuff. Back then, when I was an aspiring med student as well, I had so many questions. And most of the things that I found online were from other countries, so bakit wala? Bakit wala sa Philippines? Eh, iba yung format ng med school sa ibang bansa. That said, what is your favorite quote? It is something related to that. My favorite right now is this, create something you wish existed. And I wish this channel existed before. Baka hindi ako nag-med. <laughs> Baka nag ako lalo. Yes. Best memory in medical school? Clerkship! Hands down, clerkship talaga. Fourth year med was my clerkship year. It was the best. Finally, I felt like I was doing actual doctor stuff. What's one course you struggled with? Okay, maybe in pre-med, I really struggled with chemistry or physics. Always, nasa laylaya ng lipunan yung mga grades ko. Promise. I felt like chemistry and physics were not real, tangible concepts for me. I wanted something that I can see and hold and touch. So likewise, even in med school, I struggled with the subjects that had like molecular stuff in it. Every time, there's this topic about action potentials and cell membranes and osmolarity and stuff. I always convinced myself that I can just skip those topics but every time they would appear again as introductions to all the other topics we had to cover. So yeah, eventually I learned it by force. What's your favorite book? Oh, oh my gosh, here. Wait. My favorite book would have to be my Atlas of Human Anatomy. See, it's all here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Oh my god. What is that? That's a stomach. This was easily my favorite med school book. What do you do in your free time? Internship year, I have a lot of free time. I either study. Free time na, ina study pa rin. I either study or I usually just stay at home, drink coffee, surf the net, write in my blog, create videos for you guys. What do you want to major or specialize in? Top three choices would have to be still. Pedia, pediatrics. Number two, dermatology. Number three is ob -gyne. Maybe in another video, I will explain why. Why those three? Who do you look up to? Well, I will share to you the other med students and doctors that I follow online from all over the world. So I hope you get inspired by them as well. I started following Andrea when she was still in med school, but now she's a senior resident in ophthalmology. Jamie is also a med student and she actually inspired me to start my own channel. 
And finally, Med School Insiders is not just for med students. He has very interesting content as well, so check it out, okay? How do you study productively? Okay, I'll be the first to admit that I'm not always the best at studying, but if I'm in the mood or if I'm being mature, I make summaries out of my textbooks. I make flashcards. I quiz myself. I do sample exams. I've also tried recording my voice while explaining concepts in simpler terms. Because if you can't explain a concept in your own words, that means you haven't fully grasped the idea yet, right? How do you stay motivated in med school? Well, in fairness, I kind of finished med school without crying or breaking down or like thinking of quitting or like doubting myself. No, I was motivated the whole time. <laughs> Probably because I was very chill. Like, lagi ko inisip if kaya nila kaya ko rin dapat. All the time, there will be endorsements that oh, this is gonna be so difficult. It's gonna be so scary. You're gonna have a really hard time. Oh my gosh, prepare yourself for the worst. In the back of my mind. I'm always just, uh, everything will pass. And so for number 15, what is your best tip for future medical students? Guys, ganito, if magdodoktor kayo, if magmemed rin kayo, ito lang talaga. Tanggap lang ng tanggap, bigay lang ng bigay. <laughs> Promise! Never doubt your capacity, don't compete with others, set high standards for yourself, and be willing to accept and accept and just give and give. So that's it for now. I hope you like this video and if you want to see more of this, let me know. Thank you for sharing the videos before. In fairness, I Please continue to share my videos because I really want to reach more med students and I'm sure they are in your social media circle somewhere. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye!